Roy for Smash 4. Uh, Roy is in Smash 4, actually. Uh, uh, spoilers. Yeah, uh, yeah, Roy's in Smash 4. I really don't know what you're talking about, so. But, yeah. Roy's fun in Smash 4. Alright, so Drake versus Blue. This is gonna be Rob versus Kirby. Uh, right. Drake is the Kirby, he claims. Um. <clears throat> okay. Alright, so game one. This is going to be an interesting matchup. Uh, I don't particularly know how well this plays in this game, but... I was about to ask how this goes, because you're, you're, you're more the Kirby expert than I am. Well, uh, yeah, Blue's, uh, Blue's a new player to this scene, but he's proven to be quite adept with this Kirby. I honestly think he's pretty good. Uh, he beat me in the bracket earlier today. I can John all I want, but... Did you Kirby did him? No, God, no, I wasn't going to go through that hell. Uh, I played all of our game one and Bowser game two. I choked it hard game one, and game two, he just kind of, like, fared me to death. Fair. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, from what I remember this matchup in Brawl, it was not very friendly because Rob had the ground range to kind of mess up Kirby, and there wasn't really too much that Kirby could do about it. Like, F-Smash was, was a pain, F-Tilt was a big pain. Unfortunately, F-Tilt does not have the crazy range that it used to, and Ooh. there's the easy spike off the re -grab. I believe he re the ledge. Maybe the invincibility just ran out. I'll catch that. All right. Uh, so the How's Kirby compare in this game? Better or worse? It's, it's hard to say because with uh, with the customs available, Kirby has a lot like he has a lot better tools to work with. So one could argue that Kirby is generally better. Although I figure that without the customs, I honestly think Brawl Kirby is probably probably better. Maybe Kirby can combo a bit better in this game because the physics allow it. But I feel like there's some awkwardness that prevents oh, him there's from... there's that big hammer you're talking about. Yeah, that prevents him from doing some of his stuff right. Um, I believe the back air is just nerfed a bit. Ah, uh, using... Leaping e inhale. That's smart. Using the jumping inhale to get away. Kills him with down smash. Yeah, down smash is uh, a Wait. decent option. Down smash is... Uh, what? Down smash is always send him up. That's just how Kirby's down smash works. It's up there. Not gonna question it. <clears throat> so, uh, the big thing here that Blue has to. Okay, nice. Nice. <laughs> I like that. Um, the big thing here that Blue has to be careful of is that Drake is not the kind of person that's gonna, like, fall for, like, silly tricks and stuff. He's. Probably our best player. He's, he's. I want to say. I he, I I don't entirely know if he's like our best player. He's definitely in the top three though. Like the uh, the Croy Razzie Drake trio. That's yeah. definitely our that our best. Adra, on and off comes into. He's. Uh, I don't know. I felt that his results have not not really been up there. But anyway, um, Blue's doing a good job of not getting killed here, which is. Pretty crazy considering Rob's kill options. But that damage is racking up to the point where that is a kill move. Yeah. So Drake he, only at 30. He wouldn't, have been, he wouldn't have even needed the smash kill platform. That would have killed anyway. Exactly. Um, yeah, Kirby's adorable. <clears throat> uh, thank you, Fuel Ash. That's pretty awesome. So. Mm, okay, so I kind of see what Blue's going for here. He's Oh, that was a very nice back air there. Um, nice. So generally, what's nice, what's getting it done? What's going on in this scenario is, well, obviously there that's just edge guarding. But generally, blue is just trying to air camp and you know bait a response out of Drake. But you know, Aaron, Aaron's the kind of guy that he'll literally just sit there until something happens, or he'll just get proactive and just go in, nice get the job the done. Smash. And that was a very good job on Blue's part, getting that down smash kill. Now with Rob, um, I know his fuel refuels. Uh, his fuel comes back when he attaches stage. Does it instantly all come back, or does it gradually come back when he's on stage? It's a, it's yeah, it's instant. Uh, okay. Like once he, but he has to actually like properly land on stage. Okay. All right, nice nair there. Okay, this is still doable for blue. Very it, it is still doable. Unfortunately, blue's going to take a lot of damage trying to properly come back to the stage, as you can see there. Um, the thing that I really like that Drake's doing here is he's using that nair to just cover. Oh, nice. uh, He's using that Nair to cover uh, Blue's uh, ledge recovery options really, really well. 
like, as you can see, like, the end of the Nair just kind of hits him as he rolls up. And it could probably cover the other options pretty well, too. Like, just a regular get up. Oh, oh I, he, Ooh, I knew it. He, he was going for the grab there. I can tell. Oh, nice. Caught the Ooh. air dodge. And uh. One of the things that Blue can do particularly uh. well is just kind of air camp. Oh, that's a trademark Blue trick right there. Yeah. But it's not going to work as game one goes to Drake. Yeah, game one. Oh, it's showing by Blue, though. Yeah, Blue's, Blue's definitely showing he's no pushover. Yeah. No jobs, that was good. All right, so game two. Where do you think Blue might want to take him? Um, hmm. what, would, what, would, what would not work well for that? I guess is what I want to ask. Stage one. I feel like he's probably going to ban. All right, so he bans that. Uh, I believe the stage one has a high ceiling. In Congo? All right, so he actually went for, you know, actually went to ban Halbert. Uh, that was an interesting choice on his part. I always forget that one's still legal. It's not even that bad. It's just a couple of the hazards are kind of annoying. Honestly, if you took the hazards, that would be fine. <clears throat> hey, bad buddy. I mean, Woohoo's basically a better Halbert, honestly. No, I mean in terms of its stage right now. All right, so we're going back to Smashville like the boys do. All right, Luke's trying to go for those uh, those easy Kirby combos. Nice to see that they exist in Smash 4, albeit in a different form. The Kirby auto? No, no, no. Auto combos do not exist. All right. Uh, okay, Drake's nice. fishing for an update right now. Drake knew he was going for that ground grab. Um, I definitely know that, like, even though, you know, Kirby is... Like Kirby is different in Smash 4. I am noticing that Drake is going for a lot of the um, a lot of the basic basic stuff that he'll go for in the matchup. He has a decent amount of experience playing against my Kirby in Brawl, so I could definitely tell he's he's going for some of the basic stuff, like avoiding those avoiding those grabs by just going for the quick nares or the quick bears. Playing a little hot potato with the gyro. Um, keeping to the ground only when necessary. Uh, Taking advantage of the air and the fact that he is larger and has larger hitboxes than Kirby. Oh, oh no, he did not punish that properly. All right. All right, Blue using the uh, the patient approach to get back on stage. I was kind of Good expecting him to make, you know, a quick option, but he's got that laser on him, so the jumping inhale is not a recovery option at the moment. You gotta not get oh. frantic. Ooh. Most people in blue situation in the ledge earlier would have probably went for the board smash and then would have what I got up the road. Um, the thing with blue though is he okay, nice, nice fair there. The thing with blue though is he doesn't have to get necessarily frantic because Kirby does have quick recover recovery options. The uppercutter is, you know, it's really I fast. Meant, yeah, I know. I more mean he meant the smarter choice of grabbing yeah. him and not going for the smash. Yeah. All right. Oh, nice stare. Okay, got air. get good up airs. Stairway to heaven. Stair stairway to heaven. Oh! oh! The stairway to heaven followed by the uppercutter. Great stuff by Blue. Wow. Oh, okay. So he went for the grab there, but it was misspaced. Gets the up. To oh, I knew. Ooh. I feel like up smash is probably not the best, but he really wanted that damage. Oh, okay, jab combo, not bad. Seems to be on a bit of a high after that. Then again, I'm sure either of us would be too if we pull that off. Yeah. Oh, man. That's... Oh, oh, nice. I, I totally saw that coming, to be honest. I knew he wanted that. But it was honestly the perfect spot to Oh, dice the gyro. That's not fun. Uh, the, sn the gyro snipes. Okay, whiff grab. Okay, spits out of the gyro. Well, probably gonna spit a gyro. No, nope. okay, spits the laser. There's the gyro. Ah, nice bear. Yeah, he's doing a. Okay, nice so, back throw. Got grabbed. Um. Okay, up bear. I think he's gonna. Oh. 
Oh, there's Down the tilt hammer. Then, oh! oh! Yeah, that hammer's tricky. <clears throat> yeah, the hammer's nasty. Um, if, if they, like, the hammer, unfortunately, I think it only has super armor on the full charge, but it's still very powerful. Yeah, you go. Uh, Kirby's, uh, when Kirby gets the laser, it doesn't have the, uh, is it a stronger draw or is it a little weaker? It's usually weak. Oh, Kirby's, 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 uh, well, Kirby's are usually just meant to work different anyway, so they're always going to be a bit weaker. Uh-oh, down smash. I don't know. Scary. Hey, oh no, the new kind. Robin scary. Oh, Ooh. that is that is uh <laughs> more upward uh, range than I thought it did. All right, that's oh, and lovely. that's it. All right, yeah. so two out by Drake, but a nice showing by Blue. Very very respectable. Great job. Blue's got nothing to be ashamed of after that. No, he he played it well. Um, you know Drake's tough. He's. And life is over.